Formatting in iRise is a powerful way to increase the visual impact of your simulations. It allows you to build simulations that do actually look like the real thing in no time at all. This is the formatting toolbar. It provides quick access to frequently used formatting attributes, including font properties and widget background colors. Using the icon on the right side of the toolbar, we can open up the formatting panel to see all formatting options that we have for simulation content. To format a specific widget, select the widget and apply the changes either through the formatting toolbar or the formatting panel. Keep in mind that if you don't have a widget selected, the formatting will automatically be applied at the page level. For our example, we'll create a sample portlet that will touch on each aspect of the formatting panel. Let's start by creating a section containing three text widgets to mock up our sample portlet. The text widgets will be composed of a header, content area, and a links area. Notice how you can manually change the XY position and the dimensions of each widget in the Properties panel. Let's vertically align our three text widgets before we continue. Now let's apply some formatting to change the look of our portlet. First, we'll change the font and font size of each text widget. The header is going to be an Arial font type with a 16-point font. The second two widgets are also going to be Arial font but they'll have a size of 12 points. We can change the formatting properties of more than one widget at a time by holding down control and selecting multiple widgets. Finally, the line spacing of the content area needs to be increased to 1.5. The formatting panel has the properties for line spacing. Now let's set the font colors. Our header is going to be a green that we have from a hex code. Hex codes can be pasted directly into any color picker in iRise. In this case, it's the font color. The second and third widgets will be a medium gray. Finally, the text in the third widget needs to be the same green as the header, but the divider lines need to stay gray. By double-clicking on the text widget, we can get the text cursor to appear. Now we can highlight a specific word and change only that word's font color. We'll make this change to all three links. Instead of having to paste the green hex code to change the font color, we can just use the recent section of the color picker. Now that all of our text is formatted, we need to format the section widget to look like a portlet. We'll use the formatting panel for this. The background is going to be set to another green we have from a hex code. We want to add some borders as well. They'll be on all sides, solid lines, and one pixel wide. Again, our color will come from a predetermined hex code. You also have the ability in iRise to add rounded corners to widgets. Rounded corners can be applied evenly to all corners, or they can be applied individually to each corner. First, let's apply an even 5 pixel rounded corner to the section's corners. To match our company website, this portlet's top right corner needs to have a 25 pixel radius. To open up the individual rounded corner options, click the black down arrow in the rounded corner area of the formatting panel. Now the top right corner can be set manually to 25 pixels. As you see, we formatted an entire portlet very quickly, covering each aspect of formatting in iRise. You can format almost any content in iRise using these tools, including tables, tile lists, and menus. As your comfort level increases, the next step is to start using styles in your projects, which will give you greater control over formatting, as well as reusability across projects.